talk about what does it takes to be a rhinoplasty surgeon. I think to become a rhinoplasty surgeon, you have to be really obsessed with the operation and you have to decide from early on that you want to decide uh, to uh, specialize in that. You have to learn from the masters. You have to attend as many courses as possible and you keep doing it again and again because you'll never stop learning. You also have to understand the psychology of rhinoplasty uh, with the patient's expectations and so on. And you keep going to meetings, learn from others as you teach. You're always learning like we do in this meeting. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a never-ending learning process. You, uh, you start and you become older and uh, you are always learning, 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 learning. And you learn not only from, uh, from uh, your colleagues, the courses, the conferences, you learn from, especially from your patients, from what you have done. That's why it's very important to, uh, to have pictures, uh, to have videos, uh, to see what you have done, what was, what was uh, correct, what was not so correct, and change. That's why we change all the time and uh, during our, our career we will change all the time. And if you look back 10 years ago, what you are doing now is completely different. Uh, so right. we, we need always to be learning. That's why conferences, the the conference yeah. courses and uh, especially you need to be uh, ratified also by, uh, by your colleagues. That's why you became the first uh, uh, facial plastic surgeon, surgeon in Greece. So yeah. congratulations for that because well, this much. is the recognition of the colleagues that you have skills for the job. And so we keep on trying, trying very hard and be updated. And because I believe when we operate the nose, I think in a way we operate the soul of this, Patients, yeah, and we need to get close to them. We need to understand, and we, we need to be very well educated and uh, skilled in order to to do what, whatever they want, whatever they need, and be satisfied and be pleased. That's changed their lives. That's right. Yeah, this operation can change their lives. Yeah, rhinoplasty surgeon is not only a surgeon. Is a surgeon, is a psychologist, because it's very important to see the psychology of the patient that is behind the reason of the operation. Uh, so it's uh, that's a lot of uh, other topics that we need to know about. That is not only technique; is technique, but is psychology as well. And you need to know uh, and to learn from your work. So. As you can see, it's a very tough and difficult uh, process. And when you start, you need to know exactly that is like that. You never er arrive to a, a position to say, OK, I know everything. You never know anything. You never yeah. know you learning. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the idea. Like you said, you have to be obsessed and dedicated. And I think one of the marks, like you just, he said, go into an exam when you're a senior surgeon already and pass an exam. Yeah. And I think this will encourage lots of other Greek surgeons will hope to become yeah. board certified by the European Academy as well. As the president of the European Academy, Dr. Hassam Saleh, and also we are very honored to have both of you, Dr. Susan Veira from Portugal, to have both of you here in Greece to participate in this uh, Congress of Rhinoplasty, this Rhinoplasty Congress. Thank you again. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you for all of you for the kind invitation. No, and it's do. a pleasure to, to be in Greece as well. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.